Welcome back. Now, before we take a look at the day's business news, let's first take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. And in our top business story today, Mazdar City has announced plans to promote sustainable urban development across Middle Eastern cities through a number of third-party projects. According to a statement, it was revealed that around 35% of Mazdar City's planned built-up area will be completed within the next five years, a significant proportion of it by third-party developers. Third-party developers include a six-floor office block and upscale private apartments and townhouses to be completed within the city's existing footprint by the end of next year. Besides helping the real estate industry to gain hands-on experience in sustainable urban development, Mastar City is building its profile as a hub for knowledge, building in both the classroom and the laboratory. A new campus of Emirates College for Technology and a new GEMS Education School are also among the third-party projects planned. Among the architectural innovation of the College of Technology will include robotic parking to maximise the efficient use of space. Meanwhile, a senior spokesperson from Mazda City stated at the ongoing Future Energy Summit over in the United States that despite low oil prices, the trend towards renewable energy will continue in the MENA region as business confidence grows in the sector's potential. While highlighting key initiatives such as the Zayed Future Energy Prize and Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week, it was added that the region remains committed towards green energy. In the MENA region, solar investment alone grew from around 160 million US dollars in 2010 to around 3.5 billion last year, as according to the MESIA Outlook Report for 2016. Retail sales in Dubai reached 35.4 billion US dollars last year and are set to see a 7.7% growth this year, according to the latest research from the Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Based on data from Euromonitor International, prepared ahead of the World Retail Congress later this month, the figures also show forecasts that the retail market will surpass 52 billion US dollars in sales by 2020 with average annual growth of more than 8%. Store-based retailing was behind 98% of the total value of retailing in 2015, with a rise in consumer expenditure off the back of growing economic prosperity, steady population growth and rising incomes, as according to Hamad Burmim, the president and CEO of Dubai Chamber. He added that a boom in tourist numbers have also kept the wholesale and retail sector vibrant. Dubai Chamber analysis also valued non-grocery retail at 22.3 billion US dollars last year and grocery retail at 10.9 billion with a 6.8% compound annual growth rate in sales between 2010 and 2015. Non-grocery retail saw a compound annual growth rate of 7.1%. According to the report, this also comes off the back of a young population who are keen to stay up to date with the latest in fashion and that apparel and footwear retail outlets are set to lead growth in the medium term at a forecast compound annual growth rate of 6.6%. Emirates Sky Cargo, the freight division of Emirates Airline, has launched a weekly freighter service to Cambodia's capital city. The new service is the carrier's 53rd destination in its global freighter network and the 13th in the Far East. From the capital city, cargo will be transported via a trucking network to reach other cities and regions in Cambodia. According to Cambodia Airports, the volume of air freight shipments to and from the country increased 14% in 2015 to 38,065 tonnes. The Cambodia EU trade lane for air cargo is also one of the fastest growing trade lanes with a compound annual growth rate of 16.5% over the last three years. 
The main imports are expected to include fabric and leather, while exports are textiles and garments. Emirates Sky Cargo will be starting its service with an MD-11 freighter aircraft providing dedicated outsourced capacity for 80 tonnes of cargo. And Dubai has retained its crown as the most popular destination for high net worth investors in the GCC. The Middle East Capital Survey released by consultancy firm Cluttons shows that the top three destinations for residential purchases in Dubai were the Springs, Bur Dubai and Deira, as well as considerable demand for worker accommodation due to high yields. Survey respondents were individuals who own at least one million US dollars outside their city of residence. And almost two thirds said that they were planning to spend at least one million on property this year. Officials also noted that the Springs remained a popular area, attracting typical rents of 115,000 dirhams to 135,000 a year for a two-bed property, giving investors a yield of 5.5 to 6 percent, while GCC investors have been keen to take over entire buildings in Deira and Bur Dubai.